Twitter suspended a Spanish politician's account last week for tweeting a man cannot get pregnant because they have no uterus or eggs. And I think this is something we need to discuss together. And you're gonna make lots of babies. Deputy of Spain's Vox, Francisco Jose Contreras, was locked out of his Twitter account last week with the social media platform informing him he had violated its policies on hate speech. And I think this is something we need to discuss together. Let's start with the beginning for those who don't know the definition of a transgender. And we're going to talk about this only from a medical point of view. I won't involve religion and this is not hate speech. We won't judge anyone this is only medically related let's read the definition transgender people have a gender identity or gender expression that differs from the sex that they were assigned at birth some transgender people who desire medical assistance to transition from one sex to another identify as transsexual that means they have a surgery that transforms their genitalia into whatever they want. But we are talking here about only the genitalia, that means the exterior part, and not about the whole reproductive system. And I'm talking about the uterus, the fallopian tubes, testicles, etc. So can a man get pregnant? Let me answer this by googling it. So you will see exactly what it says. People who are born male, and living as male cannot get pregnant. A transgender man or non-binary person may be able to. However, this is only possible for a person to be pregnant if they have a uterus. The uterus is the womb which is where the fetus develops. The only exception I know about is the persistent Mullerian duct syndrome, known as PMDS. It is a sexual development that affects males. Males with this syndrome have normal reproductive system, though they also have an uterus and fallopian tubes, which are female reproductive organs. Affected uh, individuals have the normal chromosomes of a male, which is 46XY, and normal exterior genitalia male genitalia. A uh, persistent Mullerian duct syndrome is a very, very, very rare condition. In the whole world, in the whole history of humankind, we know about 250 cases worldwide in the whole human history, which is rare. If you want to read more about it, I'll put a link down in the description below. It's something you should read. It's very interesting. And if you have this syndrome and it's unlikely because it's extremely rare. Yes, you can get pregnant as a man. Otherwise, I don't think so. No. This is simple biology, you guys. You start you study this in your first years of school in first grade, second grade. And I'm sorry, but you can't change the fact that you were born a man or a woman. And yes, I agree with the Spanish politician and completely disagree with Twitter. Let's read some tweets about this. This is not hate speech. This is basic biology. I agree 100%. If you consider this hate speech, you are intellectually challenged. What I don't understand is where is the hate speech? He just the politician, I mean, he literally just described a human body, a human male. You don't have a uterus and ovaries. It's that simple. I will believe that men can be pregnant if Jack get pregnant and he sends us a picture of his labor delivery. Otherwise, I will still believe that a man cannot be pregnant. This is my opinion and this is not against anyone. This is based on medical facts. And I don't know who Jack is, but I'm sure it's not this one. And you're gonna make lots of babies. I'm gonna let go, Jack. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video, first of all. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. I would really like to know how a man can push a baby out through his penis, how he could possibly have a viable pregnancy with no uterus. There's a reason a man can get pregnant. There's a reason why women can't get pregnant without a man. It's how our bodies work. A male plus a female equals a male, female and a baby and a, the fetus. 
because to develop a fetus you need sperm from the male and eggs from the female. They combine inside the uterus, they go through the fallopian tubes into the ovaries, etc, etc. The process is really interesting. I think I will put a link down in the description below if you want to see the process animated. And again, you need a male and a female, not a male and a male. Two males or two females cannot have babies without the sperm and eggs. It's that simple. And you're gonna make lots of babies. I'm pregnant! <laughs> and I don't think there is a new pandemic of persistent Mullerian duct syndrome over there. The only thing close to male pregnancy is small intestinal bacterial growth. Take a look over here. Someone on Twitter just posted that and I agree, it's funny. And there are thousands of tweets regarding this topic, we won't read all of them, I just read a couple of them that were interesting to me. And yes, I think Twitter overstepped the line this time. I'm not trying to offend anyone or judge anyone, don't get, just don't get me wrong, but this is simple math. Simple biology 101. You just can't change what has been given to you at birth. I'm sorry to disappoint you. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Hashtag a man cannot be pregnant. If you want to see the top 10 reasons to never ever marry a doctor, click right here. And if you want to laugh, click right here. Stay healthy, guys. <laughs>